hey, did you guys hear the latest from the Associated Press? Or as I like to call them, the Associated Propaganda. Because come on, at this point, they're not even pretending to be neutral anymore. It's like they've gone from being journalists to being Kamala Harris's personal hype team. You got J.D. Vance giving a speech in Phoenix about how school shootings are a terrible reality. And the AP reports he called them a fact of life. Yeah, that's what they ran, because apparently adding context, just a little too much work. You know, like how saying I love you without the but as a friend can really change the whole meaning of everything, right? <laughs> so Vance is clearly saying, I don't like that shootings are a fact of life and that we need better security to deal with it. Not exactly controversial, unless you're the AP, in which case, nuance is scarier than Biden when he doesn't get his nap. Then, of course, the internet erupts, and only after the backlash do they update the story. Like, oops, uh, we left out the part where Vance is an sociopath. Our bad. It's like reporting someone said, I'm not racist, but leaving out the not. Oh, sorry, that must have been a typo. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris is over here talking about getting rid of cops in schools. I don't know about you, but if I'm a psycho looking to make headlines, the words gun-free zone would sound like an open invite. But you won't see the AP taking that out of context. Oh, no. Kamala can say anything. She could, she could stand up at a rally and say, I support spontaneous combustion. And they'd be like, bold stance on renewable energy, queen. But hey. We've been here before, right? It's all part of the new media playbook. Misquote the Republican, ignore the deep state puppet, and hope nobody notices. You know what's really sad, though? At this rate, it's not just the news that the AP is getting wrong. It's reality. And the real fact of life is the Associated Press is like a broken clock, except they're not even right twice a day. My name's Tom Coffey. This is the Coffey Nuance Show, the least watched, censored, commentary and news show right now flame on so yeah this is this is crazy this is nuts and uh you may ask yourself tom on this september 6 2024 i thought last week you talked about fact checking being pointless yes and I will, I will get to that. But first, I'm on all the socials at Coffee and Nuance. Please follow me somewhere else. Who knows how long it's going to stick around on the platform that you're walk, watching me at right now. But we're also uh, try to stream live over on Rumble, rumble.com slash coffee nuance slash live. Stream on YouTube and stream on X. Please follow me on X. But if you are on Rumble right now, this is the latest campaign. We're on the road to 420. That's right, 420 for the meme, trying to get some more subscribers. Let's see if we can get there. And we've been adding people, so I hope the new people that are watching the show uh, like what I've come up with. But let's talk about this tweet. This is what the AP put out, okay? This is it. J.D. Vance says school shootings are a fact of life, calls for better security. That's what the AP put out. That's the headline. That's what their tweet was from the official Associated Press. Did he say that? Well, uh, looks to me it's intentionally dishonest because he said, I don't like that this is a fact of life. I don't like that this is a fact of life. But if you're a psycho and you want to make headlines, you realize schools are soft targets and we got to bolster security at our schools. We got to bolster security so if a psycho wants to walk through the front door and kill a bunch of children, they're not able to do it. I don't like that this is a fact of life. J.D. Vance says school shootings are a fact of life. Unreal. But here's... Here's the clincher. The uh, Harris Walls campaign put out a statement, and I got the statement right here. You can read along. Yesterday, Vice 
President Harris said it doesn't have to be this way in response to another senseless school shooting. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance think school shootings are a fact of life. And quote, we have to get over it. Now, you may not like some of the things that Donald Trump has said. Maybe you didn't like the thing that he said in private on a bus like 12 years ago. I don't know of a single thing that he's ever said that is as vile and disgusting as misquoting somebody to scare voters, to scare parents, to, to imply that J.D. Vance and Donald Trump just say, eh, got to get over the school shooting. It's a fact of life. That is so vile and disgusting. I can't think of anything that they've said that uh, Vance or Trump has said that's worse than that. This was put out by the Harris Walls campaign, their official campaign. It's real interesting. It's as if they knew the AP was going to be doing this misquote. It came out really quick. Like it was coordinated, but I don't know. Figure that out for yourself. Make your own decision on that. But... To scare parents, I find this absolutely vile. I wish I had a better vocabulary. I would run through a laundry list of how awful I think that this is. So it's not just the Associated Press. Who is the Associated Propaganda? The Harris Walls campaign. I've, I've never seen the Republicans lie like this. I haven't. If you have... Let me know in the comments, because I would like to at least have some counterexamples, but I can't think of any. Um, but please leave a comment. I'm not live right now. Uh, I'm actually at the beach with some senior citizens trying to make America healthy again. Um, I went out there to do some dance fitness on the sand on the beach. Uh, that's what I'm doing today, and hopefully I'll be able to get some video of that, and I might share that with you later this weekend. In fact, if you follow me on X, I might be posting uh, something real soon there for my, for my trip to the beach to dance with old people. <laughs> should, be, should be fun, right? It should be, should be fun. Anyway, that's a, a, another project that I'm working on, and I hope to tell you more about that soon. But yeah, that was the statement from uh, Waltz, the tweet was absolutely terrible. The Associated Press is Associated Propaganda. I know I said fact-checking is worthless because if you're in the matrix, if you believe everything that the media says, you're not going to look at the fact-check because you're not going to look at anything that might upset your worldview. Okay? And I get that. But I want you to keep in mind that next time you see a story from the Associated Press... A place that I, for decades, for most of my life, thought was people trying to do good journalism. Maybe they did back in the day. I don't know. But now, it's full-on propaganda, baby. That's what they're doing. And I wanted to bring this story to you as an example that you can have as a reminder that when you see AP in that byline, that maybe you should take it with a grain of salt. Um, now, as far as the fact checking goes, I think that you could take this story. You could show what the AP, uh, tweeted. You could show what he actually said. You could show the Harris Walls response to it. And I think that someone that is like a big Kamala fan that doesn't want to be upset by learning the truth about anything... I don't think you can get them to change their mind until they're open. So maybe don't even bother. But I'm just bringing this up for you so that you remember when you read something from the AP, they are propaganda. That's my take on it. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. I will be reading all of your comments when I get back from the beach. But I hope that you all have an awesome weekend. I will be back on Monday live 
on Monday, so I hope you can join me then. Uh, please do me a favor, hit that like button and leave a comment. Hope you all have a beautiful weekend. Until next time, peace. Thank you.